Hey, Iron Toast here, and today we're going to look at the no-hit wonder Quake in Marvel's Contest of Champions. Let's get down to it. So this was actually a subscriber request to do a quick guide on Quake, and we're going to get down to it. So Quake is an older champ. When she first came out, they gave everybody a two-star, and I, I seem to remember that... Uh, Everybody was kind of scratching their heads as to what in the world she was for and how to use her and, and I don't know, she just kind of stunk. <laughs> but uh, then people figured out how to use her. So as far as her synergies go, they're all pretty basic. Uh, Black Widow is really the only one in there that, that gives her a little bit of an edge. Um, and there may be something with Nick Fury too, but I don't, uh, I don't have him. So apparently it's not that important anyway because she still rocks. As far as her abilities go, basically what you need to know is that she doesn't isn't really designed to attack the opponent like a normal champion. You're supposed to hold your block, um, you need to have parry, and create right here what they have are the uh, earthquakes and aftershocks, these stacks that are on the opponent while you're charging your blocks. Um, as far as your specials go, uh, they're really not useful <laughs> at all. I mean, if you're gonna fight somebody normally like this, I suppose, like maybe an arena or something, or if you just don't know what you're doing, you could try to stack up uh, almost two bars of power, and maybe you can get two charges off and then another two charges off of these special ones, but this is not really the way to do it. See, I got two charges here. I've almost got another bar of power, so I'm gonna let her hit me. I can throw another special, now I have four of those charges. So that's a 40% chance to stun, but that's just not good enough, right? You can see I didn't even get a stun off of that. So that's an example of what not to do with Quake. <clears throat> now here's what you actually should do. So the gist of it is this. Um, when you start the battle, you want to create a little bit of distance or parry, and then hold your block. The, you are going to evade any basic attack that comes at you while you're blocking. And then basically you have parry on so that when they try to hit you a second time, after you evade the first one, is you block. And you basically just sit there and hold your block the whole time. Kind of a boring way to play, actually. But it's quite effective. You can see that that first time that I stunned Gwenpool, it took off basically a third of her health. Here's the second time the stun rolls around. Basically another third of her health. I like to finish it with a, a heavy attack, personally. I know not everybody does that, but it just kind of creates some distance. It helps with learning the the moves against the people that you're playing against. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Hold your block, evade the incoming attack automatically, and then block. And then uh, let the Aftershocks roll. It does significant direct damage. Works great on champions like Magic back there that require power gain. You basically don't have to give her any because you're not attacking her. Works great on characters like Spider Gwen that can sometimes be difficult to hit. You never have to try and even hit them. Works great on people like Scarlet Witch, another one that relies on power. Uh, let's see here. Any of the Spider-Men, um, they can be difficult to hit. Kind of a pain. Um, and even that uh, pesky invisible woman in this month's quest, you know, you basically, um, if you're not attacking the opponent, all of their defensive abilities basically do nothing for them. Um, a few things you need to know though, it does not work against anybody that has some sort of true strike buff. You can see here he just crushes me in this case. Now this is actually a boss node with that buff, but characters that can get that on their own, that's no good. Um, so somebody like Iron Man Infinity War, his projectile dash attack gets through it because it's not a basic attack. Um, and people like Agent Venom might give you trouble, but uh, things like that. Maybe Havoc, I didn't get to try him. But here you can see we're going to try somebody that's significantly better. Should be a good matchup, right? Uh, Ebony Maw. But he should give you trouble no more if you've got Quake. You can see how she just trashes him. All the way. So, anyway, that's the that's that's the gist of it. That's the quick guide. Um, again, the upside is that she gets through a lot of content without having to deal with any defensive capabilities of your opponent. Um, but and and the direct damage is great. That's not really able, able to be countered. Um, you do have to get used to that gameplay. You do have to have parry turned on, which you probably do anyway. Um, the downsides to using her is is I'll be honest, it does get kind of boring. But if you're struggling with a certain node and she's just right for it, man, she's just clutch so many times. She doesn't have to be awakened, which is a super plus for any champion. Um, the awakened ability allows her to ricochet damage off when she blocks, so that would make her um, a defender, maybe in war or something, but certainly doesn't 
doesn't game change at all. So uh, Quake, she is very awesome. You'll hear, you'll hear a lot of good things about her from a lot of players. Um, she really is that good. Uh, you just have to practice, basically, in order to get good with her because it's a completely different play style. So I hope this helps. I hope I showed you enough to show you how to use her. And uh, if you have one, two, three, four, five star, um, I hope you rank her up. You should. She is very well worth it and very good. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you next time. Bye.